really well. Yes. That's perfect. I love working with those lures. Got a little cloth bag here. Inside that bag is a piece of paper. When we put that right on the table, it's going to stay in full view during the entire course of the effect. I've also got three little wooden chips. Now, there's something printed on the other side of these wooden chips, but I don't want you to see what it is just yet. So you can mix these up as much as you want to. Just don't turn them over just yet. So go ahead and mix them up for me. Now, do you feel I influenced you to mix these up in any special way? or No. Now, in a moment, you're going to be able to choose these chips any way you want. You can choose this one or this one or this one. It doesn't matter to me which one you choose. But pick up one of the chips. Just don't turn it over. And I want you to place that inside of the bag so that we don't see what's on the other side of it. Now I have two chips left. I want you to hand me one and to take one for yourself. Oh, this guy's making it tough. And the last one you can take for yourself. I will. And Joe, do you want to switch chips or anything like that? No. Now this piece of paper has been sitting here since the very beginning. I'm going to open it up and we're going to read out loud what it says. It says, free will has been taken. I am holding the star. In fact, I am. You are holding the square. Joe, if you would show everybody. He's holding the square, ladies and gentlemen. And in the bag is the triangle. I'll just knock this out. One last chip. It's the triangle. And that's called free will. They can check everything out. They can examine it all they'd like. And the free will principle can be used for all sorts of tricks. For coins, cards, tarot cards, ESP symbols, many different possibilities. And that's free will.